All right, let's look at how to use reference angles. I want to read this fact and then talk about it a little bit. The fact says that if you're given any angle theta, the sine of theta, if you take its absolute value, that's the same as the absolute value of the sine of theta's reference angle. And I'm just using sine here uh, as an example. It also works for cosine and tangent. But that's not the clearest way in the world to say that. Really, what this says is if you're trying to find the if you're trying to find sine of theta, well, if you find sine of the reference angle, that'll tell you the number part, but it won't tell you whether it should be positive or negative. So, you know, for instance, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump down here and look at this. Use reference angles to determine sine of 240 and cosine of 240. All right, well, 240, that's going to be over here between 180 and 270. All right, between 180 and 270, 240 is going to be, well, it's going to be 30 degrees away from 270. So that means my reference angle is going to be this angular distance here, which the distance from 170 or from 180 down to 240 is uh, 60 degrees. So, to find sine of 240, well, basically what we need to do is first find sine of 60. Sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. So, sine of 240, it's also, its absolute value is going to be root 3 over 2. But, we've got to figure out, do we need to put a plus or a minus there in front of it? Ditto for cosine. Cosine of 240. We can figure that out by coming over to the side and saying, well, cosine of 60 degrees, that's a half. So this is also going to be a half, but does it need to be positive or negative? Well, we've got to figure that out. And here's how you figure that part out. You use this thing. This is a simple trig chart. And um, you go starting with uh, the first quadrant and you go around counterclockwise. And the A simple trig chart, that tells you which one of the three functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, are positive in these quadrants. So in this quadrant, all of them are positive, then only sine, then only tangent, then only cosine. So down here, we're in the third quadrant. That tells us that tangent's positive, but sine and cosine are both negative. So I'm going to come down here and based off of the ASTC chart, sine of 240 and cosine of 240 are both negative. All right, let's do another one. Use reference angles to determine sine and cosine of 330. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now 330 is between 270 and 0, or 360 degrees. So I'm going to draw my angle in here. Three hundred thirty degrees. So my reference angle here is going to be the distance from 330 up to 360. Theta ref then is 30 degrees. All right, so sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. I know that from the chart. So when we do sine and cosine of uh, 330, if you look at ASTC, we're down here in this quadrant. This tells me that cosine is going to be positive but sine is going to be negative. So if I come over here and I write out sine of 330 and cosine of 330, cosine is positive, sine is negative, and we pull our values from up here. And that's our answer. And if I wanted to, I could check that on my calculator. If I put in sine of 330, it should give me negative 1 half. 
if I put in sine or uh, cosine of 330, it should give me positive root 3 over 2. And that's exactly what it gives me, 0.866. All right, let's do one more of these. Use reference angles to determine sine and cosine of 3 pi over 4. All right, so let's label this. Uh, up top, we've got pi over 2, and over here is pi. So this is uh, 3 quarters pi, so that's going to be halfway in between these. So my, this is 3 pi over 4. My reference angle here is going to be pi over 4, or 45 degrees. So let's see, uh, sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Cosine of pi over 4 is also root 2 over 2. When I draw my ASTC chart, I'm going to draw that down here. We're in this quadrant here. So sine is positive. So sine of 3 pi over 4 is positive root 2 over 2. And you don't have to write plus in, but I'm doing it just for emphasis. And cosine of 3 pi over 4 is going to be negative root 2 over 2. 